Look at how Simba is sleeping. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7.56 a.m. I'm getting dressed. I'm getting ready for my day. And Boo's been watching me. So whenever he does that, it means he wants me to put his cape on because he wants to get dressed also. Right, Boo? Hello, Super Boo. Simba just came upstairs. Say good morning. Say good morning. Hello, Stella. Say good morning to Boo. Good morning. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Boo. Isn't Stella a pretty girl, Boo? Stella's a very pretty girl. Right, Boo? Okay, I just got the wheatgrass from the kitchen and I left the cats alone for 30 seconds and things were okay. Stella's growling right now. And Splash came up. Do you see him over there? All the cats are upstairs, so I just brought Boo downstairs and I put him down here on the green rug and I hope he walks around. And here's what I want to do. I'm going to leave him down here by himself for five or ten minutes. There should not be anything dangerous for him to get into. Everything is pretty much cat-proofed right now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I didn't forget anything. And I want to try to get Stella into his room. I want to put Stella in Boo's room and see what happens. Right now, I'm in Boo's room. Simba's already in Boo's room. And I have that bag of treats. And I'm trying to get Stella in here. Okay, this experiment did not work because Boo is freaked out being... Downstairs by himself, he's making all kinds of noise, he's upsetting the cats, and now he's pushing his way up the door. Come on, Boo. I thought you were a bigger boy than that. Don't hit him. Boo, I thought you were a braver boy than that. Are you not a brave boy? You're not a brave boy? Nobody was down there with you. Nobody was there with you. Okay, so what I did was I put Boo in my room. And I'm trying to still get Stella in here. Come on, Stella. She came halfway in. That's a good thing. I might just pick her up and put her near the window. Okay, so Boo is back in his room right now. This morning he's been downstairs. He's been in my bedroom. And now he's back here. While he was in my room, I picked up Stella. And I brought her over to the windows. I put her up here. Of course, she did not want to stay. So she jumped down. She smelled a few things in the room. And then she left. And then Simba came into the room by himself and uh, jumped up here because he wanted to look out the window. And uh, he stayed for a while. And then I took him out of here. I picked him up and took him out because um, I need to put Boo in his room, give him his breakfast, and I need to get on with my day. Okay, let's see what happened with the feeder mice. Here's a mouse here. It's completely empty, but they must have been playing with it because it's near the water. Hello, Stella. Here's another feeder mouse very close to where I left it, and it's empty. And here's another feeder mouse, very close to where I left this one, and this is empty too. The cats love these feeder mice. Stella's looking, she wants another one. Look at how Simba is sleeping. I've been working on my computer and I just looked over at him, and I was like, what is going on here? How can that be comfortable? Do you see how he's laying? He just heard me and then he moved. Maybe he's dreaming of wearing his cape and flying. I have no idea what time it is. I think it's around 8 p.m. I'm just getting home now and I want to go downstairs and feed the cats, but Simba does not want to move. Simba, you want to eat? Simba, you want dinner? 
Come on, move. You gotta move, Simba. He gives me like a little tiny space to put a foot. And then he doesn't even move. I gotta walk over him. The cats ate all of their breakfast. I just fed the cats their dinner on their St. Patrick's Day plates. They're getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites and some Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets and some water. I think it's around 11.30 p.m. and I'm just about to give Boo his feeder mouse for the night and he's very eager to have this mouse full of crunchies. So, um, yeah, he's ready to grab it out of my hand. Okay, Boo, there's your mouse. Enjoy your mouse. Boo's in his room tonight. The other cats are on free room. I just came downstairs to give the other cats their mice. They're all eagerly awaiting their mice full of crunchies. You guys want your mice full of crunchies? You want a mouse? Splash, want a mouse? You guys want a mouse? Who wants a mouse? Who wants a crunchy mouse? You want a crunchy mouse? You guys want a crunchy mouse? Simba wants me to rub his belly. Hello, Simba. Simba's purring so loud. Simba's a good boy. The cats are getting their breakfast on their St. Patrick's Day platter. They're getting the Nature's Ready Instinct Raw Chicken Bites, Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, and some water. I went into Boo's room to uh, get his water bowl so I could give him new water and give him breakfast. And no sooner did I take that middle gate away then Simba jumped over the gate. But as soon as he saw Boo in the room, he turned around and jumped back out. So I need to get going today because I'm away for the next day and a half. So that's why and Boo's gonna be on free roam up here by himself. The other cats are gonna be downstairs. So I wanna give the other cats time upstairs this morning and um, Boo will be up here the rest of the day. Okay, Boo, I'm gonna shut the door now. 12.30 p.m. right now, and Boo is hanging out in the cat tower by the windows. Hello, Boo. He likes, to pe he likes to watch people walk by and walk their dogs and all kinds of stuff like that. Right, Boo? So Boo, Boo gets free roam upstairs until I'm back tomorrow night, most likely. And Stella and the other cats. They're on free roam downstairs, so the house is evenly split. I mean, it's not really evenly split because it's three downstairs and one up here. But it's the best we can do right now. It gives Boo more room to roam than just his room. And I am going to leave the gates in the doorway separating the upstairs and the downstairs. And I've done that before. That usually works well also. That way if Boo feels lonely, he could go to the gates and interact with the cats through the gates. They're not ready to all just hang out by themselves while no one's around. Okay, Boo. Okay, Boo. So Boo's in charge of the upstairs. He uh, is in charge of guarding the place while I'm away. All the cats have a job. So Boo's job is guarding the house, right Boo? Your job is to look out the windows and guard the house, right? And Stella's job is to make sure that all the cats get along. Simma's job is to take care of all the bugs, make sure there are no bugs get in the house. And Splash's job is to make sure that the furniture is protected. Splash's job is to protect the furniture from other cats. Make sure nobody is trying to wreck the furniture. Right, Boo? So Boo has a very important job, right? Boo, you have a very important job. Make sure you look out all the windows all the time, Boo. Because you gotta keep a lookout. 
right? Okay. Mm. Boo has dried cat grass on him. Okay, Boo. Have a nice day, Boo. Have a nice day, Boo. Have a nice night, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.